Hello, this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com and we have another After Effects 5 minute tutorial. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be sure that you'll receive all the latest updates and videos that I post. This video is going to be on parenting, pre-composing, and adjustment layers. So what is parenting, what is pre-composing, and what is an adjustment layer? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you about. Parenting is you can attach one layer to another and it will move with that layer. So, just like a parent, when they are going on vacation, they take their children with them, and where they go, the kids go, but then also, just like kids, they run away. So, with in After Effects, your child can move independently of the parent, but when the parent moves, the child moves in sync with it. And let me show you what's going on. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hide this layer of the deer from the last video. And I'm going to put it in two text layers. So parent. And I'm going to select and duplicate. Move that down. So command D is duplicate. And I'm going to call this one child. So let me show you how this works. The child is going to be the child of the parent layer, the parent. So how we do that is in down in the timeline view, right here where it says parent. And if you don't see this, it may be because the toggle switches mode may be switched. So just click that button at the bottom and it'll bring it to this view. So it says parent and I'm going to open that up and parent to the parent layer. I can also take this little cinnamon roll called a pick whip and drag it to that parent layer. So what happens is I can move this child around independently, right? But if I grab a hold of the parent, it's coming with the the child moves with the parent. And so that goes for a few of the items in the transform. Specifically, rotate, scale, position and anchor point. So that's parenting. Now another way of doing something similar is called a pre-composition. So I'm going to unparent these. And now I've got two layers here and if I wanted to add an effect to them. So an effect, blur, fast blur, and bring that up. Uh oh, it only goes to one. Say I wanted to add that blur to both of them, I'd have to then copy this effect and put it on the other one, and now they're both there. But now if I want to key from the effects, I've got two things I have to worry about. There's an easier way. There's actually a couple of easier ways. And I'm going to talk about both of them. So first way I'm going to talk about is called pre-composing. I'm going to select both of these layers, then I'm going to go up to the top and click on Layer and Pre-Compose. And what that does is it's going to stick both of these layers into a new composition and then stick that composition into the original composition. So I'm going to name this parent child. Enter and it gives me the new layer down here. And this is now one layer. I can move it around and it acts as one layer. If I double click on it, it'll open up the new composition it created with both of those layers in it. Now I can go in and add the blur or the effect to that whole that layer as a whole. I can double click in it and go in here and make some changes, go back to my original comp and it and those changes are now expressed across. Another way is to simply do an adjustment layer. I'm going to go to layer new adjustment layer. And what this is is anything you apply to this adjustment layer will affect all of the layers below it. So if I go to this adjustment layer and add a blur, everything below it will be blurred. If I stick this adjustment layer in between the two layers, only one of them is going to be blurred. The child layer is now atop, on top of the adjustment layer, so only the one below it will be affected. So that is your quick tutorial on parenting, pre-composing, and on adjustment layers. And it's a, it's a good way of adding effects to multiple layers or adding parameters to multiple layers that you need to move all together. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and make sure you like the video.